Welcome to the Adam Does Movies podcast. I'm Adam, and today it's going to be a very quick one because this isn't really a topic as much as it is a questionnaire. <laughs> really just one question. And that is to ask, where should the podcast go in 2024? So when I first started this thing, it was kind of a let's see how it works out if people like me just rambling about a movie topic for a while, whether it's a top 10 list or a specific actor and their achievements and whatnot. But over time, it's kind of morphed along with my live streams that I do two a week into the same thing as those live streams. They're all becoming kind of one cohesive unit. Obviously with the podcast, I'm not breaking for super chats or any of that. It's just me unfiltered talking for 20 minutes, which is cool. But a lot of those topics have been kind of blending in with the lives. So I guess I'm just at a crossroads, Britney Spears, as to what I do for 2024. I'd like to keep the podcast feeling different than the live streams, which means maybe I focus them on, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know, maybe it's more biopic style where I take a specific actor and I go down the line about their accomplishments and stuff. I tried it once with the Leonardo DiCaprio episode, which didn't do very well, which makes me think maybe that's not the route I go. Maybe the podcast is more just me reacting to movie news topics. Maybe I pick three, four, or five, and I just go down the list talking about what's going on in the movie space today. And then the live streams can be more top tens and ranking things and tier lists and whatnot. There's a lot of options for this. Um, I would like to hear from you, though. If you're on YouTube watching, let me know. Put it in a comment. Hey, Adam, I think you should do this for the podcast on Mondays. Or maybe, hey, Adam, why do they have to be different? Just do a live show Monday and a live show Thursday or do three live shows and just make that all the thing. Because here's the other part. You may notice if you're on Spotify or Apple Music or Google or whatever, listening or watching these things, I've been putting pretty much all of my stuff from Adam Does Movies up there. So the movie reviews are now going on Spotify and Apple under the podcast. The live streams go up there. So you're getting almost all the content that I put on YouTube up on the podcast services as well. They're really all the same thing. If you're subscribed on YouTube, you're seeing and hearing the same stuff on Spotify and basically vice versa, which I, I kind of think is fine. It's Adam Does Movies. That's the whole point at the end of the day is to give people different ways to watch and listen to the show. But at the same time, if it's all going to be the same, let's streamline it and make it something more, I guess, uh, less confusing for audiences. If I say, okay, Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays are the live show, then that leaves Tuesdays and Thursdays for a movie review and maybe a movie roast or just something else, or maybe that day's off, and there's four that go up a week, five that go up in a seven-day week. It's kind of up to everyone here. I'm just, I'm just putting out feelers. At the end of the day, I'm gonna make a decision based on what I hear from feedback and just kind of what I internally think will be the best for the channel and for my headspace going in, <laughs> because it's a lot of work doing this show alone, and I want to make sure that the quality stays good and that I'm putting out at least interesting, exciting conversations. Okay, that's it. 2024 is right around the corner. I am excited. I'm uh, optimistic about the channel. I'm working on a movie script. I've said this a few times now. It's going very good. I just need to be getting time for it. I just need to be getting time for it. That's a good sentence. I have to find time for it between my full-time job, work, family. It's going to happen though. Before the end of the year, I'm getting that script done and that's going to be a big weight off my shoulders and a huge accomplishment for me personally. Thank you very much for the support, for being a subscriber on YouTube and on Spotify and wherever else you're at. I also have been putting these streams on Twitch. So a lot of my live shows, well, all of them now, stream on Twitch at the same time as they stream on YouTube. And then they're edited a little bit and uploaded to the podcast a day or two later, sometimes three days. It, it, it depends. It's, it's a lot of work, believe it or not, to just take things, put in titles, descriptions, all that crap, and push them out to these different services. Lastly, you can also find me on Instagram. I've been trying to push content there. A lot of my shorts and TikToks go there. 
I am on TikTok and Twitter or X, whatever the hell we're calling it these days. You can find me at these places at Adam Does Movies. Sometimes there's a little underscore associated with it because someone else owns the handle and they won't give it up, which is fun. It's fun here on the internet. We're all just trying to we're all just trying to get along at the end of the day. All right, that's it. I just wanted to let you know that this is on is on my mind. I'm thinking through things and would love your help. So I know you can't comment on Spotify, really. Maybe you can, but jump on over to YouTube if you have some input, if you have some advice, let me know. Thank you once again to all the supporters on Patreon, patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies, and the YouTube join members. The $1 a month, the $10 a month, it's all awesome. It adds up. It helps offset the miserable payout by YouTube on the ad revenue side. (laughs) So thank you very much. Hopefully I'll see you very soon and we will get this all figured out so it's a well-oiled machine. All right, take care.